there's the second one. I think he's gonna come over us. No, that's his suitcase. The Marines have not saluted yet. There they go. Where is he? Oh, there she is. He's with his wife. The wife's in white. Yeah, I see something light over there. They're going in there, ain't they? Mm-hmm. Here comes the football. Oh, there's another decoy arriving. There are two on the deck at Fort McNair. They are revving up. But a third decoy 
is uh, doing orbits down here at Anacostia. This is their normal, how they do it. One of them is waiting for them down here. Protest. There's a protest rally for uh, the January 6 uh, people. Uh, supposedly, I don't know exactly where it is. I've heard there's going to be some counter protesters, uh, so there should be quite a yelling match going on. We'll try to film that. We're also going to get some lunch because I'm really hungry, and uh, well, we'll see what else we can see. So across the street, you see that under construction. That is the Air and Space Museum. It should come as no surprise. That is my favorite museum on the National Mall. It is reopening October 14th, and I got a ticket. I got a ticket to opening day at the Air and Space Museum. I will be taking you inside Air and Space in just a couple weeks. Pretty excited. Hey guys, it's lunchtime, and that helicopter was just absolutely beautiful this morning with those clouds in the background. It was, it was just stunning. Anyway, uh, we're heading over to this uh, protest that's down here, see what's going on. Maybe we'll go to lunch. Okay. Trail of Truth. They're marching to HHS. This is not the same rally. This is not about January 6th. This is some other rally. Forever 32. large group up over there. Well, this is where their rally was last time, but I guess I guess they got moved to a different location. Let me see if I can find it. Maybe they're up at the Capitol itself. This is a rally, not one more. Is this a cancer rally or something like that? Do you know what this one's for? This whole thing? Yeah. Uh, so it's all for overdose. Overdoses. Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, I think there's some folks that organized this out of Binghamton, New York. Mm -hmm. um, and then it seems like they have some other folks from around the country, um, like New Mexico. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Cool. There's supposed to be a January 6th rally, too, somewhere. Um, I think I saw another one. Up that way? Up that way. Ah, okay. Um, I'm not sure if that's what it was. I didn't really check into it. Busy I saw, Saturday. <laughs> I saw a lot of the uh, don't, a lot of, don't tread on me flags. Up that's it. Yeah, that way. All right, thanks, guys. 
So this was, uh, this is for overdoses. So this uh, was a rally in memory of those who've fallen victim to, yeah, opioids. <laughs> the Opioid Spoon Project. That's rather odd. So the other one, yeah, there's a little bit better attendance. It's over here. And the guy said there are a lot of American flags and no tread on me flags over in this section. So let's keep moving. Get around the reflecting pool. Wow, the reflecting pool's almost drained. It's getting to be winter already. Bummer. I mean, I'm wearing I'm wearing a hoodie for those who are wondering. It's in this maybe 70 something. It's not cold, but planning accordingly. Some press cries. Let me get out my camera. Bunch of them over there. Oh, that's Richard. Richard, citizen journalist. Lots of streamers here. We're deploying a CDU team into the street. Okay, it's Friday, so we're gonna go over here now. Yeah. Solidarity! The patriots of this nation have come together as a community, and we are the community. All right? So let them do, let them see. Moving us forward, by God, and there ain't nothing stopping us. So I'm gonna turn this over in a few minutes to right now, actually, to uh, to some folks behind me. But I wanna I wanna thank everybody on this stage. They're gonna introduce themselves later. And Kara Casanova, Casanova, is gonna be our MC today. So you will not hear from me. Yes, she give her a hand, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. USA! 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 So over here, I just took a small break to get a hot dog and discovered that they're having a festival, Festival Latino. And they've got lots of tacos and other you know, El Salvadoran food and Honduran food and lots of other cool stuff. But uh, we'll grab a bite and we're going to run right back to the J6 thing. Yeah, after all that, I end up with a hot dog and a Diet Coke. <laughs> it looked interesting, it's just the line was too long. And, I, and when we start talking about January 6th, stolen elections have consequences. Stealing the voice of the American people has consequences. It's like they're moving them across.
across the street now. Over there are the January Sixers. Over here is the Opium. And over there is the Festival Latino or something like that. It's a busy, busy day down here. Oh, there's also the uh, counter protesters to the J6ers. They're on the other side of it over there. They've been marching up and down the sidewalk. The police have been following them up and down the sidewalk. And then these guys are protesting. I have no idea. An appeal to heaven? So I think this protest is actually directed against the big drug companies um, for their role in the opioid crisis. Every single day, I will fight to honor him and every other person lost in our communities across this nation. We will not stop fighting until we are heard. Well, in 2006, I became homeless because of my addiction. I lost my family, I lost my friends, I lost my self-identity. I lived homeless for a period of six months in my community. During that time, I overdosed on two different occasions. When you asked me... The speakers you've just heard from... So guys, that is Saturday in Washington, D.C. Um, I know a lot of you wanted to see more of the January 6th protest, but there were probably 20 live streamers there. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube already. You can watch all five hours of the coverage or four hours of the coverage uh, on YouTube. Uh, I had to go and deal with my kids and be a dad. Anyway, I'm on my way out of town, back to my house, and I will catch you guys eh, in a day or two. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. Bye-bye.